Madeline. Hello, Madeline. Ooh, am I first? You are. Um, I don't know if you're still here because you posted that comment a little while ago. Um, yeah, so this uh, sunshine on half my face is a bit weird. I might move over. There's not many people here at the moment, so I'm just going to shuffle about. Sorry about this. <laughs> um, let's bring this up. A little bit of an angle adjustment. There we go. Don't really want the fence in the background either, but. <laughs> Sorry about this. Hopefully that's okay, a bit better. We've still got fence. Still got fence, but at least we've got some flowers. If anyone's here, do say hi. Hello, John and JC Russell. Hi. And Jonathan, we are. Hello. Can't wait to hear about this. Yes, I can't wait to smell it. So this has been walking around with me in my pocket. I picked up a um a little bit of dandelion fluff. <laughs> This has been walking around with me all day in my pocket and I've resisted the urge to try it. Uh, I'm gonna try it in just a moment or let a couple of people join first. So if you are watching, say hi. Hello, Tracy. Uh, hey, Scott, lovely to see you. I know I was only doing the live yesterday. <laughs> I'm sure you're all sick of me, but I have a feeling you're here for Hera. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so excited. This is the, the, fr the one fragrance I've been the most excited for this year. Uh, honestly, uh, when I always remember going back when Liz, Liz Moores from Papillon said she was making a bespoke fragrance for her daughter Jasmine for her wedding. I was just thinking I'd love to be able to try that. And then she went one better and, and actually released it. So it's... I think it's available on the 16th of May from Papillon's website and they'll start shipping on the 17th of May. So not too long now. Where are we now? Are we still in April? <laughs> I don't even know what the date is. I have, I'm clueless. But either way, I think we're sort of like a month away or something from the 16th. Does anyone know what the date is? Because I sure as hell don't. Um, so here are... Another month, yep. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. Hera is an extract to parfum or pure parfum, uh, I think either or. And um, it's actually the 16th today, so it's one month. One month to go. <laughs> the notes are jasmine, orange blossom, ylang ylang, rose de mai, oris, narcissus, heliotrope, ambrette, and musk. So the notes sound lovely. From the way Liz has described it, Liz did a little video on her Instagram. Hello, Gabby. Liz did a little video on her Instagram and she kind of described the fragrance. Um, and obviously the situation, the fact that she designed it for her daughter to get married. Uh, I remember, um, I remember, I think Jasmine wanted to wear a Anubis for her wedding day, but her other half wanted to wear it as well. And I think that's why uh, this came about. So I don't know if he ended up wearing Anubis for uh, for the wedding, but obviously Jasmine did wear Hera. Hera is a goddess of, I think it's like marriage and uh, babies. <laughs> Fertility maybe. It, it's a, a womanly... Um, feminine power kind of fragrance I think or, or, or that's what the goddess is all about so that's kind of an exciting concept so uh, yeah I think I will shall I spray it are you ready I'm waiting for someone to give me permission give me permission to spray it and I'll spray it but apparently it will have a bit of a vintage vibe um, I'm getting some yeses. Madeline says yes. We are says do it. Okay. Scott says do it. Spray with gay abandon says Gabby. Yes says John. Okay. All right. Okay. I have your permission. I'm going to do it. There it is. That's the colour of the juice. It's quite yellow and uh, nice and bright. I'm going to go. With... The hand is clean. I'm going to go on the back of the hand. It's always really nerve wracking to do this because. I absolutely love Liz and I love her work even if I don't love everything Salome is far too animalic for me 
I don't, I can't handle the hyrax, the hyracium note. Right, got a little bit on, on there now. I'm not breathing in. So it is nerve wracking because when a friend has created something, you obviously want to love it. And not only that, I'm, I'm now describing it to, to a few people here. So it is nerve wracking. However, in the air, it smells really good. So definitely starting off starting off on a good foot. Liz can never do wrong, says Gabby. No, she definitely can never do wrong. It's really nice. It's really nice. It's, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the work that um, Tion does. So it feels very natural. And it's reminded me a little bit of Honey Amber from Tion Reinfeld, which is one of my absolute favourites. It's got frangipani and orange blossom in it. Now this doesn't have a frangipani note, but it's giving me tropical floral vibes and really natural really really natural a little tiny honeyed not not like you can smell honey but a honeyed element to these exotic florals maddie loves honey you are gonna love this uh it's really beautiful it smells really natural good sign so far yeah john honestly I think you're going to like it too. So there's Narcissus in. Is it a boxer dropper? <laughs> is it a boxer dropper? I might have to. I might have to go out tonight and test that. <laughs> I'll just go to Primark, buy buy some boxes and drop them. That's more. That's much more likely to happen. <laughs> Scott says sounds delightful so far. Yes. Fingers crossed. It's vegan. Um, I can't see any notes that wouldn't be vegan. Obviously. Um, we can check with Liz. I can't see anything here. I don't, and Brett, that's, um, and Brett comes from plants, doesn't it? So, uh, and I know Liz wouldn't use animal musk. So, unless there is any honey in there, but it's certainly not listed. It just, it smells like the florals are, you know, when flowers can just have a honeyed effect, it smells like that. So it doesn't smell like there's honey in there. It, it, it is so amazing. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy that this is more beautiful than I even expected. And honestly, if I didn't know it was Papillon, I would I would be wondering if it was all natural. I would be wondering if it was um, the work of Tion Reinfeld because it's got these... Tion does something amazing with florals. Uh, white florals, they're just astounding. And honestly, the white florals in here... They're so natural, they're so vibrant, they're so lively. This is a, a really lively bouquet of flowers. I smell the white florals more than, than a, I don't particularly get the rose at the moment. It's got a, a tinge of a musky feel. I'm sure that musk will come through a bit later on. It's got um like a... I think it's the oris I might be smelling. Almost like a concrete, concrete dust-ish type smell, which I love. It's really good. Like, honestly, I would definitely, just based off how this smells now, I would totally buy this. This is probably gonna be my next purchase. Unless something really weird happens. <laughs> this is absolutely stunning. It's a champagne of flowers, this one. Do you think it has some fizz? Yes, I do. Um, I know Liz said that the ambrette gives it a little champagne fizz. And I do think it does have a little fizz. Not an aldehydic Chanel number no. five fizz. And not uh, not an aldehydic fizz at all, because, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's like when you smell, not, yeah, you could say champagne or any kind of fizzy drink and you smell the bubbles popping out of the glass and there's a, a, like, maybe it's the gas in the bustle, bubbles but it gives it a certain kind of scent. Tracy says, hoping the Narcissus and the Rose de May come out on my skin. I think the Narcissus is noticeable to a degree, but it's not too much. Sometimes Narcissus can be really green and a, a bit bitter. Um, but it feels to me 
more like it's in there but it's like it's you know when you just smell daffodils when you, you walk past if say the council have, have put a load of daffodils out um on the roadside and some daffodils have scent some don't but when you catch a whiff of the ones that have scent in the air it is so beautiful but if you actually smell narcissus absolute it's kind of like a bit harsh and it, a bit animalic and a bit green but when you smell daffodils it's this is when you this is a little bit of when you smell daffodils and it's mixed in of course with everything else so there's just this all the flowers but it's not blousy it's not it's not carnal flower you know like carnal flower and i know that we're not talking about tuberose there's no tuberose listed but you know how floral white floral fragrances can be sometimes blousy they can be too much too heady this isn't that this is like they're all broken up they're airy and like the, the like the fizz the fizz is helping uh keep it airy it's not a big bunch of flowers smacking you in the face it's I feel like it's probably because of whatever else Liz has put in there is is making it airy and light and, and fizzy but very um, exotic smelling and kind of still heady as well. Uh, Christy, hello Christy, what a treat two in a row. Yeah, I'm um, yeah, I'm I'm putting myself out there. <laughs> but I had to because this arrived today and I I've been saving myself, saving, uh, saving it to share my first impressions, and I was really nervous to do that. Uh, white flowers on a breeze. It's more than that. It, it's it's exotic. The flowers are very exotic, um, but it's not sunscreen. It's not sunscreeny either. But I'm imagining a few different varieties of white flowers, and your. Uh, on an exotic island, but there's no sea, there's no marine, you know, nothing sea. And it's not clean, airy like uh, when I talked about um, Verano Porteno the other day, that could very much be flowers on a breeze, really clean. This isn't clean, this has, this has got, uh, and it's not dirty either, but what I mean is it's not, it's not as crisp this is more, um, this isn't, oh, it's hard, hard to explain. It's got a lot more going on. It smells really natural. Um, the, the Verano Porteno is a very simplistic, um, very clean lines, white, minimalistic almost type scent. This is not minimalistic. This has definitely got stuff going on, lots of stuff going on. Um, like the Tiam Reinfeld white florals. Any, if you think of any of the white florals from Tiam Reinfeld, the um, Avant Gardenia, Honey Amber, any of the more white floral dominant, it's more in that ballpark. So it's like, it's, it's, it's very voluptuous, it's very full. There's a lot here. There's so much here that's difficult to describe. But just to say that, that it feels very natural, like, if you told me it was all natural, I wouldn't doubt for a minute. It's it's stunning. But I do smell a, a tinge of something sort of vintagey underneath. Gabby, I need to try a TRMP. Yes, definitely you must. I might be able to help you with that. Hold that thought. I, I, I sometimes forget these things when I, I say them and I forget them, but I'll try and hold that thought. Um, what was I saying? There is an underpinning I don't know what it is is there a tiny bit of oak moss or something else it's not um whatever it is I can't see it listed um but I feel like there is a bass note in here that's giving it a vintage touch that is underpinning it um oh wow <laughs> it's so good 
Uh, so there's heliotrope listed. I'm not picking up on the typical heliotrope um, almondy type scent. I feel like it's probably just gloriously blended in with everything. So if you're not a fan of heliotrope, at the, at the moment there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Um, I'd say jasmine and orange blossom, quite predominant. It's so difficult, to, but there's so many florals here. It's really difficult to actually say, I can smell this, this, and this, because it is just this, uh, this pep almost peppery, and it doesn't smell like pepper, but you know what pepper does? <laughs> you know how pepper gives this lift, doesn't it? Pepper just um, elevates things. It's, it's, it's almost like the florals are peppery without smelling like pepper, so they're, like, it's just so lively. They're just playing. They're 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 um, floating around and they're playing. In the <laughs> it sounds crazy, but I'm trying. I do, I do kind of recognise something in here from a more vintage, or even like a, a vintage Guerlain kind of um, bass note or something. Yeah, I tell you what, what it is making me think of, and maybe that's a heliotrope. It's making me think a tiny bit of Le Bleu. Um, so I, yeah, in actual fact, I'll tell you what it what it's reminding me of. I had some vintage Le Bleu Pure Parfum. I had a small decan and I treasured it, but I, I did wear it because it was, it was really gorgeous. I only wore it if I wanted it to feel really special and really put together because it's that kind of scent. And this is reminding me of that. That's what it is, yeah. So if you imagine a vintage, uh, a vintage Guerlain, vintage Le Bleu, and it was a pure parfum, and it's reminded me a, a little bit of that. It's really, really gorgeous. It smells, I'm trying to think what color it is, bringing to mind like yellowy gold color. I imagine a field of sunflowers but in the sun and like really shining bright that's the colour that it brings to mind it doesn't smell like sunflowers I don't know what sunflowers smell like it's good it's really really good vintage lovers are going to love it but it's not like proper old it's not old school vintage it's not, as I say, it's not Alda Hiddick, it's not Chanel vintage. Um, it's more Galan vintage, if anything. Uh, right, I missed some comments. Let's have a look. Uh, love your reaction, Claire Bear. Thank you, Gabby. Uh, it's like French Matier premieres. No, it's nothing like um, the Matier premieres. I love the, uh, the, uh, the Neroli one. That's really natural smelling. A lot of them I, f I find have got a fair amount of aroma chemicals in them and you can smell them. Here, this is, no, this is, this is worlds apart. This is really natural smelling with uh, a vintage underpinning vibe. Maddie says, I'm really into vintage style perfumes at the moment. This is sounding better and better. Yeah, and it's changing. It really, it's gently changing on my skin. Um, so I think I'm picking up the Ylang now because I almost felt like I smelt a little bit of banana, which Ylang can sometimes smell banana-y. But I think the, the Ylang's starting to come into play a bit more. Because when I first smelt it, I would say that the orange blossom was probably the most predominant. Then when I smelt it a few minutes ago, I felt like it was sort of like a, a mix of jasmine and orange blossom more than anything. Now I can f I can really feel the elang. Love that blossom behind you. Thank you. I don't actually know what this tree is. Uh, it doesn't seem to bear fruit, but it, it does blossom really pretty. And then it makes a bright mess when it all sheds. <laughs> is the elang a bit indolent? I don't know. Um, if I would say anything's in Dolic, 
but I also wouldn't say anything's particularly clean. So there might be a touch of indoles sauce or something indolic in here with whatever flower that might come from or maybe all of them. Um, Cause it's not squeaky, it's definitely not squeaky clean, super clean. Like for example, Dior's Pure Poison. That to me, that's like squeaky clean. Like you literally um, squeak when you walk if you're wearing <laughs> if you're wearing that. I've always called that like the chastity perfume. Uh, no, this is the this is kind of like the opposite of that. Um, it's very sensual, sexy, vivacious, but. That underpinning vintage kind of feel, whatever whatever's causing that, is is raining it in. So it's not like um, like your carnal flower or, or or whatever. It it's not all tits and ass. It's it's a li it's like a little bit of a low cut top, but the skirt goes over the knees, and the heels are, you know, the heels are, are so high, and then there's a, a very um, a nice stole covering up some shoulder. <laughs> so it's like uh, classy sexy. Se definitely sexy, definitely voluptuous, but reined in, pulled back by this underpinning vintage vibe. It's really, 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 really beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's funny. that like, It's reminding me of the all-natural perfumes from Tion, but also vintage Guerlain. It's almost like the two meet. Very, very floral, but a lovely mix of different florals. So it's not too much of anything. And it's funny, you keep picking up on, I, I now I smell more orange blossom again. So it's, it's funny how you keep picking up on different florals. But I do get this like concrete, Underneath it, this lovely concrete dust, which makes me think it might be iris. I sometimes get that from iris. Um, and a, a, like something like, uh, I don't know if, it, if I'd say it's, might just be a little bit of oak moss in there. I don't know if there's ambergris. Um, I know um, Liz does sometimes use ambergris. Something like that, yeah, like like something lending it, a teeny tiny bit of, of, I wouldn't even go so far as to call it animalic, but a human touch, you know, like a touch of, of humanity. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like not dirty animalic, but just, just people, people and animals, you know, like if you smell a kitten's belly, like it's just like, something nice in there but but it's it's real <laughs> um yeah it's it's really 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 good it's really good i highly recommend that you sample it uh, when it's available if you love florals now if you're not a fan of florals this is going to be too floral for you this is really the florals are the main thing here but it's not boring, clean florals. It's not crystalline, uh, chaste at all. It's very voluptuous, a little bit fizzy, definitely quite sweet, but in a natural way. Like the sweetness comes from the flowers. It's not added. And then there's this underpinning. I, I think it might be oak moss, but it's not listed. But it feels to me like there's a bit of oak moss or something, but not too much, just... Just an underpinning. Underpinning, slightly green, slightly, not exactly woody, but slightly rooty. Yeah, uh, slightly green, slightly rooty. Just, just a little bit, just, just taming it all. Keeping it all layered, you know, keeping it all in check. Really, 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 really good. Very, very natural. I can't stress how natural this smells. It smells so natural. It's so good. Um, just checking your comments. 
Margie, hello Margie. Oh my God, can't wait to smell this one. Lucky duck. I know, I'm very lucky. Thank you, Liz, if you watch this. I'm sure, I'm sure you will. Um, thank you, Liz, for sending me the sample. I absolutely love it. Is it unisex or a bit more feminine? Uh, Denise, I would say most people would find it feminine just because it's very floral dominant, but obviously anyone can wear whatever they want. Uh, if you love florals, basically, you've got to love florals and that's that's the only thing that matters. Uh, uh, we answered that could be the ambrette, giving it like the human touch. Yeah, it could be. But I feel like there's something um, heavier than that. The, you know, something that does, that it's a bit, it's either oak moss or, or something like that. Maybe there's even, a, I don't know, touch of labdanum or, or something, something giving it um a kind of fruity, slightly green tinge. Um, Gabby says, Liz stuff have, does have a way with fragrance that lends sexy to the imagination. Definitely. Class, she says. Yeah, class, indeed. John says, am I a fan of florals? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think you are. I get concrete for Angelique. I see what you mean with the iris. Yes. Um, yeah, so I think that's what's what's happening here. I, I love I love concrete dust, but I've said before, I, I used to eat it when I was little. <laughs> Margie says I love Liz's work, very special. Uh, Tracy says oh dear, sweetness too. Can't wait to try it. Yeah, definitely quite sweet, but as I say, sweetness is coming from the florals. It doesn't feel like there's any added sweet notes. Certainly nothing, I get nothing syrupy, synthetic -y, you know. Um, yeah, the florals are, they feel honeyed. So it's not that there's any specific honey note that I'm getting, but it's just that those florals have a honey tinge to them. Um, but there is a green... A little bit of a green fresh under underneath like um probably from the narcissus maybe but it's almost like smelling um fresh dewy uh green grass in the morning but in the sun so you've got dewy damp clean green grass and then the sun's warming it up and the scent this this sort of sweet green scent so nothing bitter really there's a t there is a tiny tartness to it, to the florals, I think. But there's nothing bitter, like, um, I don't smell like a bitter neroli or, um, uh, what's that, orange, petit grain. I don't smell like um, anything like that. It's good. It's really, really good. Massively recommend it to all floral lovers. And if you like your perfume to smell very natural, then this is out of this world. It's it's really good. Uh, yes, it, uh, Margie, it's available from the sixteenth of May. Um, so yeah, that's that's it for now. Um, I can't wait to wear this properly. I've already got perfume on from earlier today, so I can't. What was I wearing today? Uh, uh, Vani Tahiti, Tahiti Vani, Vanida Tahiti. <laughs> from Paris Monte Carlo. That was my main scent of the day today. So I'll have to shower so that I can now wear here my battery. So um, here is so special that it would be the sort of fragrance I would totally wear out. It's got a like going out feel to it. Um, night out might be, it might be a little loud, not loud, but it might be a little vibrant for some people during the day, but I, I, will, I would definitely wear it during the day, but it feels like a special night out type of scent. That's how it feels to me. It's really, it smells really special. Like you just wouldn't just slap this on to go to Asda's. It, it, you just couldn't do that. Yeah, it's really, really good. So that's it. Uh, thank you so much everyone for joining me. It's half an hour. <laughs> first impressions, half an hour. <laughs> just quick first impressions. Thank you everyone and have a lovely evening. Happy Easter and I will catch you all really, really soon. Bye.